Hi, I'm Erin from M4D and the Cinderella Cosplays, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Pure Nikos his shield from Ruby. Um, right here is my first attempt at doing this about half a year ago or so. During my Here was my first cosplay, and this is what happens when you're not quite sure what to do. Um, this is made out of regular foam board that you would get from, like, um really anywhere, any craft store or a dollar store, cheap stuff, which it can serve its purpose if you're just making like a Halloween costume or something that's not going to get a lot of wear, but for like multiple cons and all, I really wouldn't recommend it for that. So instead of the foam board, today we're going to be using Sintra, which will hold up better and it should paint better and just overall is a better material and it should last longer. Now... With the shield itself, how we made it this time, the first time, it is um, 20 inches diameter for the first one with the cuts in and then a 14 inch in the middle. We're not going to quite stick with the original design due to the fact I'm making, with my cosplay now, a more steampunk-like version of Pyrrha. And so, going off of here, we're going to have one, the first layer is going to be the same size at 20 inches. Um, around with the same divots in but starting from the brown you see here to the gold then the brown lining here will be the second layer but this middle bit will not be there this is going to be just sort of a ring in the middle you'll see the first layer again which we will paint gold and I had to give it more dimension so the first thing we're going to do since I do already have this made as a good template I will put this on the Sintra and trace it out before we cut it. Okay, so now that we've traced it out, and you can see one of the advantages once you do it out of Sintra instead of something like foam board is, you can just see here how it wasn't completely rounded and all, and there's like just divots and such in it, which is something that once you cut it out with Sintra, it won't have just because of the materials. Now we're going to be using a um, scroll saw to cut this out. I won't because I'm bad at cutting the circle parts, but my dad will be cutting this out for us. And then we'll move on to the next bit. Now that we have this cut out, you'll see that already it's a bit nicer than the um, foam board, but there's still edges like this. But the nice thing about Sintra versus foam board is you can sand this starting at 80 grit and pro progressively getting higher until you got it to the um, smoothness that you want. But overall, it's a fairly good cut, so just a little bit of sanding and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Step, we're going to be making the second layer ring. That's going to be from the tip of the brown to the outline here with the swirly bits. That's going to be our second layer because the middle bit here is going to actually be the first layer, like I said before, but painted gold to add a bit of dimension to it. So we're also going to make this out of Sintra, so um, to the next part. We're using the compass at a um, 20 inch diameter to get the circle. We're making essentially a, um, another shield to get the ring out of. Instead, the reason why we aren't just tracing straight off with like some kind of paper off of the original is because, as you may have noticed, they aren't um, the best swirling swoop things so we're going to make this more uniform and design okay what we're going to do now is give them the center point again we've already made the outside edge you know what make one another line that we did on the first one to separate the gold part from the brown part because it's still going to paint it golden brown so I'm going to make it double so we create another soft line like we did here but in more and then we paint it to help us to break up the two so I'm going to get my divider set, shield away, back to my original point. Let's grab that one out. Go over that light with the pen as well. Now 
Get the shield back out again. Make one more line. This can be the inside line here. Which I can basically feel my line where I originally created this, so <laughs> that's it right there. All right, now for the next step, we're moving on with the swirly bits. First, we made a template for what the um, outside ring ones will be because the inner rings have ones that are a bit longer. Now, we're using the straight edge so that way we can have the outside ones at a 40 degree angle, 45 degree angle, and the rest are at a um, 85? 95. Huh? We'll, we'll draw quadrants, we'll draw four quadrants. broken off by the center there you only know where our four outside ones go at so we can draw those on there cut them as part of the ring then we need to figure out what inside we're they go at a 45 to these so <laughs> they'll go approximately you know here 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 and here we need to figure that out by looking at the original picture and going off it all right so we'll come back I think we had let's draw these out We'll come then back. come back to it. All right. Okay. For the next step, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to cut out what you see. Um, this part right here and the middle bit. We have our swirlies put on there as they need to be, all lined up using templates. So that way they are uniform in design. So next to the scroll saw. Okay. Now that we have our, we got the um, first layer cut away. With the, the um on the swirlies because of how our scroll cutter is scroll saw, we had to actually take a Dremel to get the inside bits, but it's really going to depend on what you're using for that. Now for the middle bit because how it is and since we're using a scroll saw again, we took a Dremel tool and we made holes that we can insert into to cut around for the pieces. So moving on, we'll see you in the next piece. All right, so now we have the um, second layer done. It still needs to get sanded, but it's all cut out for the most part. Now here though, when you see it doesn't quite match up because it's still a full circle here. So we'll mark it once we get it all lined up and then we'll cut that out. Then we'll continue on with getting it all together with it. So this is gonna be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And to check out our other stuff and other social medias, um, check in the description below. And thanks for watching.